The primary role of a zookeeper is the day-to-day -day care of the beautiful animals we have here at the zoo. And that care entails food, making sure that they're healthy out there, getting their exhibits ready, providing enrichment and uh, stimulation for them, cleaning up, and those day-to-day -day basic things that need to be done. You don't even think about the maths you use, but we use it every day. And things like dietary preparation, it's important that we get the right amounts of food for the animals, that we have a, a good knowledge of their weight because that indicates how healthy they are. So when it comes to weighing an animal like a giraffe, we use training and conditioning for those animals to move into what we call a giraffe chute. It's essentially a giant set of scales that he stands on. Good morning, how you going? Can you see what he weighs? Adrian, I've got him at 11.98. Oh, that's great. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, buddy. Hey, you're a good boy. And we also take that opportunity to get him used to being touched, and that allows us to do a whole host of other management-related things like trim hooves, even take blood samples. Even though it's such a relaxed and calm animal to work with, they certainly have the ability to kick and can be quite a dangerous animal, so we have to be very careful working around them. The giraffe can grow up to five and a half metres and uh, 1,190 odd kilos. It's very important to get the weight right on these animals because we don't want to overdose a medication or underdose. When our vets come to anaesthetise an animal, it's important they get the dose rate correct because we don't want our lions waking up in the middle of a procedure and uh, we want to make sure that everything is safe. OK, buddy. There you go. Oh. Maths is used in all aspects of zookeeping. We need to know the size of an exhibit. It has to match the uh, size of the animal. It needs to meet their requirements. So size, volume are all very important for exhibit design and uh, the considerations we have when we're making homes for our animals here at the zoo. Every day we do some mental arithmetic, which we don't even realise we're doing. And the, the better you are at doing those kinds of calculations, the better you are at doing your job. My favourite subject at school was actually uh, biology. and I actually found maths quite uh, challenging, but I really have benefited from um, doing maths right through my high school uh, education. Getting into zookeeping as a profession is very competitive these days. There's lots of people wanting to do this job and it's important to stand out with your qualifications and the requirements are increasing each year. So it's well worthwhile pushing through and doing maths right through to year 12 because it gives you a greater opportunity for landing what is a fantastic job and uh, something that I've enjoyed every moment and every day I learn something new about the amazing creatures that I work with. So it's a fantastic career to have.